how do you feel about social media? Because I know you, your social media is growing, you know, weekly. You, you do a lot of different things. How do you feel about social media and specifically for the fitness industry? Uh, I got mixed feelings about it. Simply because, I mean, you got people on there that... I, th I think for the sports industry, it, it's, it, can, it can go either way. But for the most part, like, I'm a very humble guy. I'm not the guy that's going to get up throw a Gatorade bottle across the wall, across the room, hit a wall and, you know, smack somebody's mom. I'm, that's just not me. Um, but it seems like when you have guys that do those type of acts or that'll go in and bench press naked, um, those get more respect and more followers than a person that's actually doing something that no one has done. So I'm just now touching 200 K and I've done something that no one in the history of the world has ever even thought about doing. A 800-pound bench press. I've attempted it once. And it just doesn't get the clout that I think it should. And it's not just me. I'm just saying across the board. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, let me be realistic with you, man. Uh, social media, weightlifting, all this stuff, that doesn't define me. You know, what defines me is how I, who I am in my community, um, how I treat my kids, the, 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 the example I set for my family and my kids. Um, and, and, and this set a long time ago when somebody says, when somebody said, if you are becoming something big, but if, if somebody took away your bench press, who would you be? And that always stuck, stuck to me. And yeah, it's all being cool, leaving a legacy behind, being the strongest man, but just as much, I want to be known as uh, a giver, someone who cares about people, someone who loves people. And I'm not being, and I, to some it may sound corny, but I'm just, I just feel like I'm different, man. I, like when I say I love somebody or, or I would give my shirt off my back to somebody, I would, you know. Um, and I think that's just because of the gratitude that I've had over the years because I, I was in that, in that pit. I was in that place where I had nothing. So all this is just a bonus for me. It's a bonus. You know, so there are some people on social media that they're, they're accused of using fake weights to to bench, to do squats, whatever. They they put on fake weights like that weigh less and do different different uh, you know lifts by it. Does that uh, upset you when you see stuff like that? If you feel like it's fake weights, I don't care. I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's the um, that's what that's what they want to do. Like everybody gives Brad Castleberry a hard time for that, um, but I mean, like at the end of the day. I mean, I don't. I, I just. I just don't. I just don't care. I try to. I try to bind my own business. Sure. Have you seen his lifts? Have you seen his lifts no. when he does like I think seven plates on each side? Yeah, well? but I, I, I've seen two, and I've seen some things that you can't dispute. Like Brad Castleberry is very strong. I don't care what anybody says. Um, but at the end of the day, like I tell you, put your money where your mouth is. If you say you can do something, then then put something on it. Then let's see. You know. But ultimately, like I've really. I could care less, you know. I just want to, you know, like I said, I just want to um, help and inspire anybody I come across. And I try to stay away from drama. I try to stay away from all that. Because if I, I mean, I could be one of those guys to call people out and, and, and get in the mix. But it's just, I don't have no energy to put towards that, man. I just don't. Um, I've lived that life. I've lived a life where I've been shot at and lived a life where there's been drama and I don't I don't thrive off of that stuff, man. It just doesn't it doesn't get me going, you know.